Well, of course, I've known of Ohio State for a long time. You know, first, I grew up, I've always had his diploma. I'm not even sure why, and it hangs on my wall here. So from 1896, the fourth president signed it, right? So sure, I've known about Ohio State um, through him and through, you know, stories passed down. Um, I've also known Ohio State uh, when I was at the University of Colorado, where I started my academic career. Gordon Gee was president at the time, and then he left to come to Ohio State, and uh, I've visited on and off over time. When I was in college, I actually played lacrosse, and there was the lacrosse nationals were in Columbus. Then I came to Columbus, came to, to Ohio State. Um, so that, you know, was always quite interesting. I've had colleagues over the years. It's just such a great reputation. It's such an extraordinary university. So I kind of have to pinch myself that I actually get the opportunity to, to lead it. When you're the chancellor of a state university, you have 64 campuses, but you really don't have any campus. And when you think about where the students are, where the faculty are, the action is really on a campus. And so what I found was every time I'd go to a campus, I'd miss that, I think. But the ability to make a direct impact. Just at a chancellor level, it's just a different, a different job. So that's what I realized that I was missing. So when I got the call, I was like, wow, you know, this is really exciting. This is what I've always wanted to do. You know, my biggest inspiration is really the, the, the students in our faculty, you know what we need to do every day in order to give them the best opportunity to become, as I said, my investiture, the best possible versions of themselves, and how we support the faculty and staff in order to enhance that. So that really is the inspiration. That is pretty simple, yeah. I think the biggest thing I remember when I was a student, undergraduate student, I was studying electrical engineering, still studying a lot of math, chemistry, and physics, so a lot of problem sets every week. And then I was playing field hockey on the, on the varsity team in the fall, then playing spring lacrosse and started the club lacrosse, doing fundraising and about everything else, you know, uh, clubs and people uh, that we love about an enriching university with, what, 1,400 student clubs. And it really came down to time management. I just ran out of time. And it was stressful. So I think what I had to learn is, you know, how do you uh, not bite off more than you can chew? I'm still trying to learn that. <laughs> so I guess my advice to students would be would say, you know, get experience at dealing with that now. It'll pay big dividends as you, you know, go through life. And that's, it's just normal. It's just normal. I uh, hope that the kind of leader I am is that when there's a better way or a different view, you know, that, that makes sense and it's logical, independent of what I thought before, I'll adjust. I'll pivot. If anything, we learned that during COVID. You got to pivot and uh, to when new knowledge is available. What I hope to inspire is that anybody can be anything they want if they just keep at it and don't give up.